Hey friends, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Job, and today we are doing some hauling of some new stationery because I wanted to refresh my stationery tote, which happens to be the Real Tote by Studio Absent. We're also going to be refreshing my pencil cases and pen pouches to best I guess reflect how I've been journaling lately, but let's get started. So the first thing that I'm hauling are a bunch of pens and I'm holding four of the same pen. This is the very recommended uni pin fine liner, which is a good dupe. And some people might say even better than the Sakura Pigma Micron pens, which are very popular. Both of these two pens that I'm showing you, actually all five of them, since I bought a whole bunch of the, the uni pins, are all um, 0 0.1, like the size, which roughly translates to 0 0.25 millimeters. So they're very tiny and itty bitty, and I like my fine lining in that kind of line width. Next up, we have my all-time favorite pen. I can just say it now confidently. It's the Uni Jetstream More Black. This specific pen, the aesthetic, the style, and the more black capabilities. Basically, it's just a multi-pen, but the black barrel just has more black ink in it. And I don't know, it just writes so well. I got one of that in the kind of beige color. And then another really, really highly recommended pen. I always tell people to get this pen. This is the Pilot Multi Ball. And this pen will write on any surface. This will write on acrylic, on plastic, on metal, on anything, on washi tape. And I had uh, only one of these. And I had it in the broader nib, but Jet Pens actually carries it in the finer uh, nib. And it's fantastic. I really, really like it. Again, I'll leave all of the um, things that I purchased from Jet Pens down below because, you know, I got to share the love. Obviously, these are not sponsored and these links are not affiliate. But we'll continue on. I bought a whole bunch of adhesives and I don't know, I burned through a lot of my tape runners. I use tape runners excessively. I don't really like glue that much because... I just don't like sticky fingers um, and I'm one of those people that always needs to put glue all around every edge of anything that I'm gluing down so it ends up becoming very messy and very not wasteful but I end up yeah wasting a little bit of well a lot of glue just because I'm trying to get all the edges secured so I like using the tape runner just because it's less mess but it can get quite expensive and again it can be a little bit wasteful too with ex with the way that I um use my tape runner and glue so um, I went this I guess a slightly more economical route because I found these refills for this specific uh, tape runner this is the, Ko the Kokuyo dot liner long type so it's the largest size from the Kokuya dot liner actually no that's a lie there's one more size that's bigger but this is like the most portable one in terms of like the larger ones there's one that has like a handle on it um which is kind of hard to find refills but i bought these refills initially um i believe on amazon canada and they were very very discounted and i have like a box set of six um but i didn't have the actual like you can see I was holding it the back uh, part of this tape runner because I only bought the refills by accident. I thought it came with one um, like full tape runner, but uh, I was just using a refill without the back. It was really, really sketchy, but I'm glad I own this now. And as you can see, I'm finally installing the back to the one that I was using for like, I don't know. It was a very long amount of time, probably like two months. So it was, it was a, a very long overdue moment, but I really recommend this because I actually have used, I think, one of the refills for almost two to three, no, I think two or three, yeah, two or three months. Usually I go through a tape runner a month, which is kind of intense actually, like a tape runner refill. Uh, so yeah, I really recommend this. It lasts longer and it's cheaper if you buy the refills in bulk. And then I bought, um, this is my first time buying the Kukuyo dot liner in the knock style. So it has a knock or like a clicker mechanism, just like a pen, ballpoint pen. And I think it's really, really handy because it's more of a narrow form factor. And if you are like me, you are buying things <laughs> for your Rialto that fit in the elastic loops of um, the Rialto. You'll You'll see a little bit later what I'm talking about, but the the stationary tote of choice that I have is um, 
it has some elastics on the side um, that allow you to fasten a few things uh, but yeah it's it's a little too too bulky those other tape runners so i bought a narrower one i also bought one regular dot liner um, in the regular size and that's going in my uh, pencil case and then i'm i bought one um, of these <laughs> travelers company uh accessories this is the brass clip the airplane version and i remember when these were released i think i just got back um from korea and i remember buying the the logo one the one that you can see on the right hand side of the screen which is a lot more patina for like ooh, i don't know i remember it was like these are still quite pricey i believe they were in canadian like 20 ish bucks 25 dollars but i think i purchased this for 18 us dollars uh, which isn't too bad but it's nice quality still the best clips for your traveler's notebook um and i really recommend them and now i have two so i can finally hold down both sides of my notebook and then you just gotta indulge me here for a little bit this is a not necessary purchase i've actually um looked at these for a while and i've been stocking many websites to find them but these are the tools to live by three inch scissors and they're so tiny it's like the baby brother of my i believe seven or eight inch one no these are the six inch scissors actually um which i think are nice i do get a little bit of like scissor fatigue when i'm fussy cutting or like cutting ephemera out using the six inch ones i still love i love them i use them all the time when i'm journaling but if i'm doing like a lot of cutting it gets a little bit tiring because you can only fit two fingers through the holes but yeah i have the three inch scissors which are i don't know low-key just like a prop because they're actually pretty bad at fussy cutting so i don't really recommend them but if you want you, you know want it for the aesthetic get it um and then this is the lie hit lee hit smart fit is that what it's called smart fit ac tact compact pen case I'm, i swear that's the name i'm looking at my <laughs> my receipt L lie hit lab smart fit a tact compact pen case there you go and then yeah we'll go into more detail about how i'm going to set that up later and then i bought the sunstar del de slide pen pouch which is fantastic you've seen these del de ca uh, cases um, a lot this is the light version so it's slightly smaller than their usual version and at first when i just got this i was like oh it's, it's so tiny um but it's perfect this is the perfect size and i already moved all of the pens that i wanted um to go in here uh basically i have this muji acrylic case that houses these pens but i really like using these um pentel touch pens and these new mild liners like a lot and i didn't want to buy duplicates of these to have them in my like mobile journaling setup so i thought i would just transport these here and then um the nice thing about these del day slide pen pouches is that they stay up and they stand um upright so yeah that's why i really like that and then i got another pair of scissors i don't know i'm just like really into scissors this is actually um a recommendation from Ren's pen traveler and cast rock um cast rock writes on instagram um they were talking about these scissors a while while back and these are the nakabaya nakabayashi um hiki giri hiki giri slim scissors so these still have the titanium coating that i believe the tools to live by scissors and the very popular plus scissors have they are like non-stick um, this has like a very different cutting feel. Uh, the blades are slightly curved. I don't know. I still need to get used to this. It feels, it feels different when you're cutting with this. Apparently, that curved uh, blade helps with the cutting motion. It's kind of like um, when you have a knife. It's supposed to help cut things a little bit better. But for me, I feel like I don't know how to use these scissors quite well i know there's no right or wrong way to use scissors uh, well actually no that's a lie there is a wrong way to use scissors but uh, i don't know i just feel like maneuvering these scissors are very different from my tools to live by ones it's really hard to explain but um yeah i like these for the aesthetic and they work great i just need to practice using them more which makes me sound very uncoordinated but i swear they feel a little bit different if you have these scissors let me know in the comments down below if you feel the same way if not that's fine maybe i just am well i am pretty uncoordinated but that's besides the point um let's set up this real tote 
Okay, let's set this tote up and let me just preface this by saying that this tote is from Abs and Studio. This is the Real Tote Premium. This goes for like, I think 60 bucks USD. Um, and I think you can get the job done for a lot cheaper with a different tote, not by this not by this uh not by the same like make and model because um uh, i wasn't really happy with the quality of this just being real with you guys um i received this and you know for it being a premium tote quote unquote um the elastic right where you can see the scissors and the pocket palette from traveler's company x art toolkit um the elastic there and the stitching there um kind of unraveled a little bit um and that was just after placing like one pen in that elastic and i was really like off put by that so i i sewed it back together um it, i just like hand sewed it but yeah it was just not you know not my favorite experience especially after i just you know purchased it luckily enough um absent studio gave me a little discount i think they gave me like $13 off or like $16 off but um yeah it was still like an $80 Canadian tote um, or $60 USD so still not worth the price in my opinion but um yeah it's a lovely aesthetic looking tote but yeah I'll tell you what I filled it up with so we have a water bottle a spray bottle from Muji we have the pocket palette that I talked about which is the R toolkit x travelers company we have the Nakabayashi scissors we have two paint brushes I think from Grumbacher and then we have a water uh, pen from Pentel Aquash. We have the new multi pen from our hall, um, a brass um, pencil from Spalding Bros Co, I believe. And then we have a Coeco uh, Sport. This is actually the ballpoint version with a gel refill from Leuchterm. Um, and then we have a Sarasa Grand in the vintage brown. We have a Uniball 1F in the gray, which just has black ink. And then the last two pens um, are. TBA, I will let you know in a little bit because I can't see. Uh, but we added two pouches in there. We have the um, Superior Labor uh, tool case and then a Superior Labor X, uh, the Stationary Calf, no, the Stationary Selection X, Courtney Diaz, Little Raven Ink, uh, like a uh, collaborative pouch, which is, I think, super cute and cool because it's pink and blue which are totally Courtney's colors um and yeah that's part of the inside of the tote um and then I added oh it's a uni pin it's the, one of the new uni pins and also a brush pen the Pental nope Tombow Food and Nosuke brush pen and then we also I I didn't know where to add my new tape runner but this is why I bought this um dot liner um or this narrower knock style um knock style uh tape runner or dot liner um is so that it can fit through the elastics here and then yeah I, i'm still playing around with it but as you can see i really want this to be like a, a tote that i can use for when i'm watercoloring anywhere in the house so the spray bottles there um when i need it we have um the our toolkit palette which has my watercolors we have various brushes we have fine liners we have pencils um and then the one thing that i didn't have was an eraser that you know wouldn't get lost in the tote because it's easy to just toss like a little eraser inside the tote but i wanted something that could go on the outside and have like basically my main pencil case on the outside it's just an aesthetic looking pencil case really if you look at it because all of your pencils and and pens are outside um but yeah um that's one thing that i still you know need to reconsider in my setup i also added that new pouch um which is the del day slide um slim case um and it has a whole bunch of brush pens from pentel touch and then the newest mild line colors mild liner colors sorry um but as you can see now the tote looks a little bit different. I took um, some other things um, like off. Uh, I feel like I, I'm going to do this like three more times uh, just to be real with you all. But I realized that I wanted to include one of the new uh, Pilot Multi Balls, which is again one of my favorite gel pens. This has gel ink, but it can write on any surface. And I'm putting um, the finer pen 
in this setup i'm just trying to remove the sticker i don't know about you guys but i am one of those people that removes the sticker off of my pens like i know the muji pens like the classic 0.38 muji pens and that like frosted acrylic not acrylic frosted plastic it looks so good with that um like label like that sticker that comes with like the barcode but i always peel it off i, I don't know it always bugs me um but i know people that keep it on and i'm like oh it looks so good but i am not a sticker on pens kind of guy i peel them off i just like peeling off any sticker <laughs> right off the way right off the right off the bat maybe it's because um i i grew up you know uh told not to peel stickers off of like I don't know appliances and things as a kid because my mom always kept them on there so like growing up now I'm just like peel off the stickers uh but yeah I added that right beside the Uniball 1F and I swapped out the Sarasa Grand and then I was trying to think about if we wanted to add um or swap out one of the pencils for something a little bit lighter because I really love using this uh, brass pencil, but it's very heavy. It's very weighted, um, but I decided against it. And then, yeah, I'm just going back and forth and seeing what needs to be tweaked. I also ended up adding um, one of the Pigma, Sakura Pigma Microns there. Um, I don't know why, because we had the uni pin, and I think that's why I'm checking on if i should add it there the reason why i removed the uni pin is because i still have a perfectly nice and functioning uh pigma sakura micron um, which you can see right now but i was also indecisive and i think i end up putting both on this setup just because i wanted a backup but i don't know why i feel like i can't just grab a backup <laughs> um, in my house because this is this tot is primarily gonna just stay um in my home because i i really want to use this just to journal in different places around my home um but yeah i think that is the setup for now now i want to set up my pencils and my pencil pouches and pen pouches to better suit my current needs now it's time to update my current pencil pouch. So right now I'm using the Euroliku flat tool case in beige as my main pencil case. I love it so much. I feel like I've raved about this pencil case so many times already. It's flat, it is slim, but also, you know, can hold quite a bit. You can see all of your supplies, but also, you know, it's still low profile. It's protective, but not too heavy. Love it so much. I wish, there was a lightweight leather version, but I know that would add some weight to it. So I'm still very content with this uh, pencil case and I really recommend it to everyone if you're looking for, you know, a new cover or not new cover, a new pencil case. Uh, but yeah, we'll talk about what we're doing right now. We're swapping a whole bunch of things out. So I took out my Lamy Mango um, out of this tool case and I added the berry colored uh, Uni Jetstream More Black because again, ride or die pen. Um, and then I'm swapping the Koweko. No, I added a Koweko Perkeo and took out the Twisby Eco in black and silver. And I still have my Koweko All Sport in black in there, which I believe has uh, Colorverse Mystic Mountain. I haven't really taken that ink out of that pen ever since because it's a lovely ink. Um, and right now I have been living without... Um, a tape runner for the longest time in here so i added the standard size dot liner that i purchased from jet pens and that's in there now and i still have you know these tiny scissors in there i was thinking about adding um the new scissors the three inch tools to live by scissors and i think i did keep it in there for a little bit but i think you'll see in a little bit that i'll put back these random scissors that i had um, and I'll keep them in there. I also um, decided to keep the Uniball 1F in black in there because I wanted to have a solid gel pen choice um, that wasn't, um, you know, the jet stream, which is actually a ballpoint. Um, and as you can see, I, I did it. I added the other scissors back in there because they are too trusty. And I know that um, I wanted something that was a little less precious just in case, you know, I lose this pencil case um, and... 
the the brass ones are a little fancy to keep in there in previous videos and favorites videos and like um outdoor cafe journaling videos you might have seen this lovely hobonichi drawer pouch i've used this for a few months and i still really love it it's still a lovely pen case but i wanted something a little bit slimmer and so i got this um lie hit lee hit um smart fit tool case pencil pouch whatever it's called um and it's tiny it actually doesn't even fit tombow pens unlike the Euroliku flat tool case luckily i'm not planning to bring that anytime soon but i am converting this uh pen pouch pencil case into my like urban sketching slash watercolor doodle um I guess tool pouch or tool case because I want everything related to that in here. So, you know, if I want to journal in the wild real quick, I'll have this pouch ready to go. And yeah, I love um, the color. It's fun. It's bright. It's pretty water resistant. So it's not fully waterproof, but I don't think that's a deal breaker for me. And then yeah, I added a few br clips, I added uh, two water brushes, and then I'm adding a kneaded eraser and a regular old eraser. I have a Uni Jetstream More Black, I have the Uni Pin in there, which is my fine liner. I have a pencil, I also have a Pigma Micron there, and I also have a brush pen, which is the Pentel uh, Fudenosuke, or Tombow Fudenosuke. No, Pentel. Tombow, Tombow, <laughs> Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen. Um, and I realized the brass um, clips or like these like rose gold copper clips were too bulky. And so I left um, them out. And then I added, obviously, the water, the the water paints. Wow, water paints, watercolors. Come on, Joe. The watercolors um, in the Art Toolkit X Traveler's Company um, palette because it's so portable. And I love it so much. Obviously, the... The tool case, the art toolkit is not going to stay in there forever because um, if I'm not using it in like the outdoors or um, on the go, I'm going to keep that um, in my Rialto, which you saw earlier. And then I have this lovely like it's called um, the brand is called Som, I think S-O-M. And, and it's a Swedish brand from my understanding, but this is basically a like multi-use paper towel. So you can use this paper towel for like, I think 60 washes, like if you really um, count it, I think even more actually. And it should hold up just like, um, like a paper towel, but also like a cloth. And then you can compost it from my understanding. And I really love it. I cut this one down to fit in here, which seems a little bit like wasteful but i actually still have the scraps and i use the scraps to clean up my table when it gets a little bit wet or there's condensation on it let's summarize our refresh and updated pen cases and stationary pouches and tools from this video first off here is the updated euroliga flat pen tool case i feel like i'll never know the name of this pouch but it's the beige euroliku I love it so much and as you can see i'm still like moving things around i just removed the sarasa grand in here and i bet you a million bucks i'm gonna place it into this del there you go in this del day uh slide tool case this is the the slim or the light version of the del day slide which i really really like this is my first time owning this but it feels like one of those you know mugs that you would keep on your desk um filled with pens but you know this is a little bit more of a mobile setup and then lastly this is uh the Lee hit lie hit uh, smart fit tool case this is my on the go water coloring kit and i'm really really happy with this setup has everything that i need the only thing that i wish i could fit in here are some clips but i'm sure i can find some low profile clips that could fit into here and it's so tiny it's like the fraction of the size of the euroliku flat tool case um, but i love how they're both very similar it just feels like the euroliku is like the fancier uh chicer cooler uh older brother of the fun and uh colorful lie hit lee hit toolcase but yeah these are my three pencil pouches and um, i'm gonna put the del day one into the real tote 
along with the two pouches we had in there and yeah it was so fun to set up all my new tools um, and I hope this inspires me to journal even more obviously you don't need all of this stuff to journal and I hope this is a reminder for you to use your stuff instead of you know just purchasing more okay I love you so much everyone I'll see you in the next one bye for now bye